Which should you take, flax seed oil, omega oil, or fish oil? Hi, Rudy Silva, nutritionist, here to tell you about flax seed, omega-3 and 6, and fish oil. These chemicals are called, essential fatty acids. These fatty acids are called essential, because you cannot create them in your body, and your cells use them every day. There are many different fatty acids, but omega-3, and 6, and fish oil are extremely important to take every day. Later, we will discuss, why it is better to take fish oil, instead of the omegas. If you do not eat enough of the essential fatty acids, guess what? You're going to get sick. What kind of sick? The list is quite extensive, and it depends on your deficiency. Acne, Alzheimer's disease, arthritis, asthma, cancer, diabetes, skin diseases, eye diseases, heart disease, immune dysfunction, kidney, and liver deterioration, tissue inflammation. It's a good idea not to be short on these fatty acids, because this list is still not complete. If you are excessively short of these fatty acids, or don't eat them daily, you may have to deal with painful diseases, or death. These essential fatty acids provide, the fat that exists around your organs, brain, and under your skin. Fatty acids also provide, the cells with energy. There are a tremendous number of other benefits for taking fatty acids. It is not enough to eat essential fatty acid randomly. They need to be eaten in balance. You will need to balance the omega-3, with the omega-6. Most people are eating around 15 tablespoons, of omega-6 to 1 tablespoon of omega-3. If you are one of these persons, then expect to be harboring, or creating one of the diseases listed above. You can avoid an imbalance, in taking fatty acids by using fish oil. What are essential fatty acids? There are four important types of essential fatty acids. Alpha-linolenic acid, ALA, or omega-3 oil, a polyunsaturated oil. Linoleic acid, LA, or omega-6 oil, a polyunsaturated oil. Icosapeninoic acid, EPA. Docosahexaenoic acid, DHA. The omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids are found in everyday oils that you use for cooking, baking, and eating. One of the problems with these oils is that, they have more omega-6 than omega-3. And, it is the omega-3 that you need more of. Let's look at flaxseed oil. Flaxseed oil contains four times more, omega-3, than omega-6. This is excellent. It's for this reason that flax seeds and it oil became very popular decades ago. However, as you will see later, your body may not be able to break down this oil into EPA and DHA. Other oil with omegas. Hemp oil contain the ideal ratio of 4 to 1, 4 times more omega-6 to omega-3. Since it is derived from the marijuana plant, it does not have a good image. But, you can still get it online. This oil is now gaining more acceptance from the public. Pumpkin oil contains, 3 times more omega-6, than omega-3. Walnut oil contains, 10 times more omega-6, than omega-3. Safflower has no omega-3, and 75% of its oil is omega-6. Sunflower has no omega-3, and 65% of its oil is omega-6. Wheat germ oil slight amount, of omega-3, but mostly omega-6. Olive oil no omega-3, and 8% of its oil is omega-6. Corn oil contains mostly omega-6. You can see, that most oils have very little omega-3, that is why, you hear a lot about flax seeds, and flax seed oil, because they have a lot of omega-3. These oils should not be used for cooking. The reason olive oil is used, is because of its flavor, and its lack of omega-3 can be compensated with fish oil. Perilla seed oil. Perilla seed oil is a good source of omega-3, which comes from the seeds of the perilla frutescence plant. Perilla seed oil contains 3 to 4 times more omega-3, than omega-6. For this reason, this is an excellent oil to use, but it has not become very popular. Perilla oil was found not to cause digestive upset, when used in large quantities. This oil is similar to flax seed oil in content, except that it has 19% of its oil, as saturated compared to 7% for flax seed oil. You can get Perilla oil in capsule form, or in liquid online.
It's cheaper to buy in liquid form, since one tablespoon contains 7,700 mg of omega-3, and one capsule contains 550 mg. As you use oils, it is best to alternate between oils, using one bottle at a time of flax, perilla, and hemp oil. In this way, you will get the benefits that the different oils have to give you. When buying your oils, buy them in dark bottles. This prevents oxidation from occurring, and assures that you get active and fresh oils that contain strong levels of omegas. When taking fish oil, make sure you take vitamin A also, to protect the fish oil from oxidizing in your blood. How the Omega Oils Break Down The omega and flax seed oils and break down into a variety of different chemical structures. They break down into EPA and DHA. But to do this your body has to have the chemical delta-60 saturase, which serves to make the conversion. If your body does not have enough, or has defective delta-60 saturase, omegas will not break down into DPA and DHA. This means that you will not be getting the benefits omegas have to offer. So, how do you know, if you are not breaking down omega-3 to produce EPA and DHA? There is no easy way to tell except through blood tests, and if you have specific illnesses, that point to this breakdown deficiency. Just to be on the safe side, it is best to supplement your diet with fish oil capsules, since fish oil already comes in the form of EPA and DHA. There you have it, more information about flax seed, omegas, and fish oil. To get more information on omegas and fish oil, click the link below. And don't forget to sign up for my channel to keep informed on nutritional tips and natural remedies.